Todd Miller here again, uh, right now in front of 7277 West Mesa Vista uh, Drive. This is a bank-owned home. It's a Freddie Mac. Uh, as you can see, it's a two-story, got a three-car garage. Um, it's also in an area where there are really uh, some REOs. You can see there's a an REO sign there, uh, and then there's a house down the street that's another REO. Sits across from this empty land here, and then those trees you see over there, that's the Spanish Trails Country Club, guard gated. Some new construction right there. Uh, pretty standard for Freddie Mac house, deadline. Typically don't see a lot of refurbishing going on with the Freddie Mac properties, so whatever the condition is, is what it is. Fortunately, this house isn't in bad shape on the inside. So we'll go in here. It has an intercom system. And a two-year warranty for all the major appliances. You can see it's got a pretty nice paint scheme. Carpet is clean and vacuumed. So Freddie Mac does a maid service. Every couple weeks they come out to the houses and clean them up even though they need paint and carpet for the most part. This is kind of an interesting feature. It looks like there's built-ins there. A study or a bedroom, I guess. It's got, a, it's, got its own bathroom and a closet, so you could use it as a bed, bedroom. And a really big closet. So pretty nice. Got a lot of storage. Here is the kitchen. Refrigerator with ice maker, and of course you see those stickers. Everything's covered. Two years. Just the marketing material. This house is getting a lot of showings. There were a number of agent cards when I came in. Kind of a nice fireplace. Backyard and a nice. Pool, which is unusual for an REO. A lot of times these things are green. Try to get a good view of it here. That looks pretty good. There is no spa, but it is a pretty good sized pool. So, covered patio. So we got the one bedroom down here, and we got a few more upstairs. This is a bonus room. Um, you know, in theory, this could be a bedroom because that is a closet. So you could stick a door on there, call it a bedroom, or you could use it as a Bonus room, entertainment room, game room. I don't know what was there. That's the intercom. So that's two bedrooms. And then this would make bedroom number three. Not bad. This is a not bad sized bedroom. It's got a cleanse closet here. So we're good. So that's four bedrooms and the master. So it's a five bedroom house. Nice hole in the wall. And master bath, double sinks, tub, separate shower, and a big old closet. Not bad, not too bad. A little bit of a view out the windows. You see some mountains. You know, all in all, not a bad house. Um, it's on the market for 264. It is getting showings. Don't know if we have any offers on it yet. Uh, if you're looking for something like this, the best thing to do is to um, 
send me a tweet on Twitter. My handle is Las Vegas Todd. My email is Todd, T-O-D-D, at nvrs.com. Also, if you look through the library of all the YouTube videos, you'll see that I do have some market updates. This past week was interesting. We had some, some neat data in the high-rise and in the luxury homes. Homes over a million dollars, and the amount of inventory that's out there is substantial. Uh, as much, believe it or not, as 12 years of supply in high-rise vertical over $1 million. So those high-rise penthouse type units, uh, 12 years of supply, that's obviously prices have to come down. But if you want more details, go look at some of the videos and I have some market data for you that'll help you with your um, Las Vegas real estate needs. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask and I'll see you at the next house.